Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review and unboxing of the GB station. And let's go see. Oh, and this is the back of the package. So. And this is the front. So let's look at the system and the stuff it comes with actually. Here's the charging wire. It comes with a little cartridge. And here's the battery. So let's take it out. Alright, so this is the GB station light. Here's the buttons. It looks just like a SP. And I guess you could put it out to the TV. I'm not really sure. Right there. The O and R buttons. And it has a little cartridge, but I'll put that on later. So I'm going to turn it on now, and this is where you turn it on with that switch. And let's try a game. Here's the um, games it has. Let's go through them real fast. And the good thing about this game is they don't have any repeats. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what else there is. There's a lot of NES games. So let's try. Oops. Um, Snow Bros. And I really like this game. I remember it on the NES. Oops. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Alright, let's go try a different game. So then you push this reset button just over here. And let's try another game real quick. What I like about this is really bright. It's brighter than the SP from Nintendo. Alright, let's try one more game. And I'll just do Tetris. That's pretty cool. I just do it real quick so you can see how it is anyways.
Oh shoot. I thought I had it. It's kind of hard to play looking through the camera. Anyways, I was just wanted to show you a preview. And actually, let's just try one more real quick. And let's see. Closer. Actually, let's try a dig dug. Uh oh. <laughs> Anyways. I think this Dig Dug is different from the one I played before. Anyways, um. Let's put him next to the original Nintendo game. So you can see the difference. And let's turn this one on so you can see how much brighter this one is. And the buttons actually look similar. Except this to for the backlight. And this one's for reset. Let's put the volume up on this one. And this one's all the way up, the volume. So, look how much brighter this one is compared to this one. But obviously, this one's quality is better, but this one, the sound's much louder. Let's pause that one. And this one sounds way louder. Oh, so this was Dig Dug too. No wonder. I only played the first one before. And it's so much louder than this one. My goodness. And this one's screen is bigger. And... Obviously, you can't play the Game Boy Advance games on there. Alright, so let's close this one up. And let's try the little cartridge. Let's see what's on there. Alright, I guess I thought I went in deeper than that. And let's turn on. This one has 13 games. And here's the names. Let's see the next page. So it's not that bad. And that burger time. I like that game. Um, let's just try a real quick game on here. And I'll put Bomberman.
Uh oh. Almost killed myself. Oh shoot. Alright, almost done I think. Good. I think we're supposed to find the door or something. Let me see. I don't remember how to do this part. <laughs> it's been a long time. Oh well. Anyways, let me turn it off. Well, I recommend it because it's pretty good. It has a lot of good games in it. And if you like retro games, you'll like this handheld. And it's affordable. The buttons feel good. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe, and thanks again.